Hello everyone, how is everybody doing? I hope you're all doing great. We have today package from Paint Some Way. I have one, two cross stitch and one, two, two canvas and I have one, two that I really like it and many of you wanted to see this might look different a little bit that's why I wanted to check it out their uh, tools for cross stitching I will start with diamond paintings first so those who don't like cross stitch can just uh, finish watch this video after diamond painting so let's get started And yes, so time from time I like to do the mixed video and seems like you don't mind to have that. I cannot remember what's in here. Okay. Why I cannot open? Because these envelopes are so small. Okay. I'm gonna tear somehow. So what do we have in here? I do not remember at all. And I still don't remember. What is this? Okay. So this is something mm, similar. Well, maybe not similar. Uh, we have already cross stitch one is under the water cross stitch. And this one is under the water Nemo I who watched this cartoon when my kids was a little bit smaller we watched this movie and I might even have the DVD movie about this so we have a two sets of tools in here two trays two pen with one placer only and wax round diamonds with this diamond painting and look at that colorful fish well I have to say the colors in here are very very bright okay there's something I don't like okay I might have to take this diamond painting away from here so I have more room a little bit well that's very nice actually canvas Prints are so nice and clean. Even dark places in here are good visibility of the colors. If I can flash a little bit for you to show you, look at that. Print is good. I know it's over flashing a little bit, but uh, I love this fish. The orange fish. They always travel together. That, that's a cute memory of watching movie with kids. So the image itself, uh, not image, the whole canvas, 40 by 80 centimeters. So that is a good size of the canvas. Wow, looks so beautiful. It's so beautiful. The glue layer up there. How can I show you? Oh, look at that glue. How nice reflective very good glue and the canvas is really a sparkle like lots of glitter on it of course the glitter is not transferred to your hands if you don't like glitter okay I did not do good job at all I thought I straightened up but the side didn't went well let me just fix it a little bit better okay maybe I will fix this side a little bit later so what do we have in here 24 colors it's a nice big pack of diamonds I don't know if I still should continue showing you diamonds because we all already know <laughs> how they look like but I still kind of like to see colors 
because with this one should be like very very nice and bright colors okay I want to see 24 I need to see 24 16 24 okay so I just want to make sure you're all diamonds in here just gonna quickly show you so this one is this is three bags of the same color nice blue 9.39 this is dark dark blue this one looking nice and beautiful two big bags or that's the same yes same color purple looks like a blue but it really purple wow i'm surprised how much color changes on a camera wow okay i see blue on a camera but this is really purple color and for some more bright colors right in here oh that's nice nice I like the picture itself. It's very, very bright. And the movie was awesome as well. I don't know if you like when when my kids were smaller. Oh my God, I don't know how many times we watched same movie over and over and over because they want to watch and I have to watch them with them because TV would be like next to me. So I bet many of you went through the same thing with little kids. Now, canvas number two, we will try to, let's see if we can get this video under half an hour, so I don't have to do much of the video editing. And sunflowers. Sunflowers, I love sunflowers. You know why I like sunflowers, right? It says home sweet home. Wow, this one is so happy. The canvas actually look much better than I expected. And the same thing as well, we have two sets of tools in here, two trays and two pan. And a good chunk of wax. Diamonds, oh, with this one, diamonds we have already in a Ziploc bags pre packed, which is awesome. And look at this juicy, juicy colors. Just like that. And I can see, was it 24? Yes, also 24. And I can see that number 24 right in here so it should be like they usually layer them nicely in order so i'm not going to open this one that's nice round diamonds and the canvas look how beautiful oh some flowers speak to me home okay big air bubble in here let me just fix a little bit in here because um, big fold in here in a clear sheet in here and also the same thing layer of glue is here just amazing look at that let, let me let me flash a little bit to the light look at this glue so beautiful so beautiful strong smell of the glue I guess because it's a thicker layer of glue it's strong but when you open and let this a little bit maybe in the air it will go away maybe a little bit because some canvases sometimes a little bit more stronger smell of glue than another maybe it depends on the layer of the glue how thick that is what a beautiful sunflowers home sweet home I know lots of people like sunflowers. It's just a cherry flower. 
kitty flower. Okay, I also created here a little bit more of the wrinkle. It's just because right now it's very, very static. This is just sticking everywhere. Okay, anyway, it doesn't work as I want it. Okay, so yes, look at that. That is a beautiful canvas. Mm, look at this juicy orange color is going to be in here. Some have a darker circle, some lighter. And this wood grain in here, really nice and soothing colors. Kind of uh, colors in here a little bit remind me when I used to do the um, custom rings, diamond painting of my parents. That's kind of similarity, something of this one. And also this font writing is really pretty actually i like it home sweet home there so we have two diamond paintings now let's see what else we have in here uh, i wanted to see i wanted to see uh so we have a uh, two canvases in here and I always told you about, uh, oh, I actually need in here scissors, wax to use for um, cross stitch. Now there is some questions uh, from beginners or maybe not beginners, I don't know, why you need wax. This wax to me look much different, look uh, more yellow because my that I use in white so that's why I wanted to try and see um, this one a little bit different now wax when you're using the threads they come in six which let's just open one canvas in here which one are we gonna open first oh well, let's let's do this one the threads come strain of six and on 14 count either you have to use only two or you have to use three with 11 count and the way they twist around in doesn't layer nicely on a canvas so you have to use uh, you have to separate well let just me okay i need a thread so when you separate them let's just say one and two they usually they are wiggle like this like they they have those wiggles from being twisted around so when you put them through the wax first of all they will straighten up the thread and also put this kind of like a lubricant so it doesn't tangle very often and they go very nice and smoothly through the canvas and your Access your stitches will be layer much neater so that's why you need a wax because some threads it's it just keep twisting 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 so the wax definitely help them to layer nicely on a canvas and after you wash your canvas the wax will dissolve on a warm water and go away but you know what give me a second I just want to show you the difference between this can um where is my wax just a minute i will chit chat with you because i wanted to show you the difference that's actually different wax so i want to see if they same good or not so here's my tools that i are using right now and you can see this is my old wax that i use pretty good look at this all these lines from the threads that i kind of twist them a little bit wax on the inside because you can open and I use good you can see <laughs> so I can also twist it right now a little bit and put on another side a little bit for more comfort you can open but look at the color difference so this one more like a natural beeswax that I have my homemade beeswax color in this one but this one may be, may be softer a little bit. So I want to test it out this one as well and see if it's same good as this one. But it should work same way. 
I, I love to work with wax. It's so much more comfortable. So I'm just going to put to my tools right now. Uh, I do recommend to have a wax handy just for in case you will need to use it. And I use uh, especially on a 11 count Ada because the threads up there are more twisted. And when you have a three of them at once, you definitely, the help of the wax will make a big difference on a layer on your cross stitches. Now, this image is just a beautiful daisy bouquet. It's called Daisy Six. And Daisy is my birth flower, if some of you don't know yet. <laughs> There's a lots of wild flowers up there, but main part it's daisies. Oh, I'm saying this name. My dog will hear the name, her name, <laughs> run to me. Uh, so what we have in here. Okay, so 14 count, 48 by 35 centimeters. Uh, I love the background in here. It's also kind of like a blue and yellow matching my nails right now. Blue and yellow. I uh, love those kind of like... Um, string of light it's almost like sheer fabric or something and vase staying on it maybe ceramic um, vase it really kind of like a country style bouquet right because it's a wildflowers love it okay so how many colors we could have in here and is it easy to stitch so far I see 36, we have a six pages of book. So 36 in full stitch. Let's see, sometimes more stitches on the inside somewhere. No, that's it. That's it, my friends. This is very easy canvas. Would be for beginners probably. Uh, let's just see if it's like a... Well, we can see the canvas itself, if it's busy or not. Now, here is the thread. There will be lots of blue and greens. And here is the one palette of the colors. We have two needles, as always. And look how much, look how much blue is in here. There are some in here. And look at this awesome palette in here. Nice, beautiful color. And look how the threads are silky. Those silky threads usually though you don't even need a wax because they they layer nice. But I'm saying that wax you you don't have to use if you don't want to. But if you feel like your threads is tangled up sometimes too often, a, a good idea to use wax. And you will see the difference how your threads layer on your fabric. Now, it looks really, really busy in here, right? Because there's a lot of colors in here for all those days. Yes, yeah, so maybe for beginner, like it's why I say it's for beginner, it's good canvas because there's no extra different stitches, like, like a half stitch. Well, half stitch is very easy, but like a force of the stitch or French knots or something else. In here, just a full stitch, that's why it's easy. Well, plus we have some good patches of colors in here. In here we have more of this. Um, am I showing you right? Yes, I am. Okay, yeah, let me see. Oh, okay, because I thought it's another side, yeah. So in here, visible, even on the pattern, here's at the big, patches of colors which in here would be easy to stitch back around in here now for this blue of course we have more of those lines and that's what I like about this one um, yeah in here maybe a little bit too much of the different colors you can see kind of confetti looking but if we look closely for example yellow you see it's all connecting almost with each other so you still can start and finish one thread at a time Maybe some, you have a few of this, few of that. So yeah, this one, a little bit more of the confetti area and the flowers, because there's a lots of flowers, especially like for the centers, for the centers of the daisy, that's what the most probably change colors will be. 
to create all those juicy colors of the center flower yeah in stitches we have 220 by 152 in stitches and of course I always like that they have nicely nicely over stitch edges that's always nice and here is stitches like it's very very nice done canvas stiff very stiff yeah very stiff now canvas number two probably a little bit bigger what we have in here we have in here a gorgeous gorgeous eagle it's called an overlooking eagle 14 count ada 44 by 52 centimeters winter snowy image gorgeous bird you can see the snowflakes flying which is give me the special juiciness to this image and birds itself of course are absolutely amazing he is so gorgeous so gorgeous so i would say every american should be proud to have this cross stitch in your collection because the eagle it's your bird to be proud of and it's a very elegant awesome bird love them unfortunately I saw them only at the zoo not in real life but at least I saw right uh, yes that's a beautiful so I'm not sure maybe all the snowflakes will be as a French knot we'll see okay so we have a nine pages of the booklet in full stitch we have 33 colors we do have a back stitch in four colors and we do have a french knot in one color and that would be our snowflakes i believe let me look on a pattern yes all this little dots in here that's the french knots yeah so this one a little bit advanced image but let's see how difficult will be canvas to look on colors are very very juicy dark very intense colors in here you can see the threads looks uh, feels really silky very nice threads yeah, it feels different. I like the threads in here. And black, black feels cheaper. You know, if I would show you like this, look at the blue, you can see like a shine or any other, you can see shine. And then black, it's the black, it's just a... So for this color, for sure, I'm using wax 100% because this one, it feels like a cheaper blend of the threads because they never shiny and they usually tangle more. So for this reason, I would recommend to use wax for sure. Then we have two needles. Yeah, I had to restart my camera. Did not have time to finish in one video, so I will have to get some editing. Just a few minutes, didn't have enough time. Okay, here is the canvas. Canvas looks actually not bad at all. Uh, but I have to say, the back... Okay, this is thread. Just a thread from the canvas. Uh, back stitch, little bit of outline and some branches. I can see more in here where is uh, let me show you where we have mostly up the back stitch it's the pine needles in here on the bottom so I can see lots of back stitch is a pine uh, needles bird itself doesn't have any 
I don't see any backstitch on a bird unless it's later on a no I don't think so just on the on branches like a top branch um, like, a top, like a some branch in here outline a little bit bird doesn't have it okay so that's you know what that's not bad and I have to say that this canvas would be even easier to stitch than the other one that have just a full cross stitch because this one has less confetti it's more patches of uh, big area of the color you can see them there is not very uh, not difficult canvas to work on at all look at that and here look on the canvas you can see up there backstage that's for the pine needle and also there's a little bit of the partial spots we have not everything we need to stitch and this canvas maybe because it's a smaller no it's no it's same stiff same stiffness between this canvas and this one maybe just because it's a bigger feel sometimes it, like it's softer but it's not in my one of my latest video unboxing I showed you how to make your canvas more soft if you don't like to work on a stiff canvas because if canvas stiff it's a uh, lots of treatment went through the fabric and your threads will rub enough more often uh, sometimes can be breakage as well depends of uh, because the paint already make those holes smaller plus stiffness sometimes can break your thread so to soften up a little bit by rubbing in your hands it can help so that's all we have for today I think I cover everything now if you wondering in stitching in stitches in the X uh, 196 width and 244 high so it's a smaller of course than we see in the sizes in here because uh, just a for beginners reminder when you see size on a canvas in here or like description box it's always tell you the size of the full canvas to the edges not printed area so obviously your canvas image will be much smaller but it is gorgeous I I love look at this his feathers will be so much visibility and then you have background this beautiful mountains woods I could even recommend to create background in half stitch and then branches and tree in full stitch and full stitch of the bird that would be beautiful as well or even like a sky to create in a half stitch and a little bit like for the snow in here I don't know you can change something if you don't like something you can change it and it will you the back stitch I mean not back stitch uh, a half stitch in a background will create more 3D image to pop your bird forward and create unique. But it, no matter what you're doing, it will be looks gorgeous. Look at that, how amazing he is. Yeah, maybe on his beak we have a little bit back stitch. I can see that now. Yeah wonderful oh look at the tree colors are so nice it is going to be very very beautiful uh cross stitch thank you very much everybody for staying with me uh i will test this wax in my next stitching i will do uh with you or by myself because i want to see if this um, wax that we unbox today if that's the same or could be even better than this white one because they definitely different in colors so that's the interesting to see uh, the difference on it if this is softer maybe or not so i will let you know update in my upcoming video of cross stitch if this box same as good as the white one thank you very much for everybody who joined my video review today and thanks to the company for supplying this product for me to review as well i do appreciate everything 
Thank you so much for staying with me and I will see you tomorrow.